a different investigative order, different agent. At my request, I'm requesting Edward Dabrowski. I know his heart is in this. And I would like to give him what I have on it and for him to go in and look at this. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to start making phone calls to every state agency until this man is shut down. Okay, thank you for your comments. Anybody else? Uh, not really. I just need some clarification on what you said earlier. As far as you know, I'm not going to bring up something I'm not allowed to bring up. Okay. With respect to a law enforcement issue, it has to come to you seven days in advance before I can say anything about it on the board. To our board attorney, and the board attorney will then research the question and get an answer. Right. And it could be everything that's fine because that's not going to resolve. It's not. It's not. Somewhere along the line, you need to sit down and talk. That's going to be a waste of effort. Okay. Anybody else have a question or comment? Yeah, I do. Um, Please identify yourself. Tommy Ronka. Um, <coughs> I have a couple of issues. Uh, the first one being we have a shelter director in the northern part of New Jersey who last year euthanized 157 animals from January to December before the seven day hold was up. My concern is, I'm not going to mention names right now. You can read it later on on my reformers page. Um, he's an SBC agent. So I'm sure that you, you guys at the board know exactly who I'm talking about. So 157 animals by an N, by, no, excuse me, not an NJ SPC agent, an SPCA agent, a county SPC agent that he put down last year. Why is this man A, an SPC agent? B, why is he still a shelter director? And C, why haven't you guys gone in and done something about the shelter? You all know exactly which shelter I'm talking about. If you don't, you don't? Okay, I'll let you know. It's the Patterson Animal Shelter and it's John DeCannon. As of this past January, I received the other day two incidents, both that he put down a dog and a cat that was surrendered that morning. He put down the cat because it was nasty and he put down the dog because it was old. Same day. 157 cases last year. Who's going to take the case? You're going to give it to Chief Boyle? Who's going to take it? Sergeant Rizzo? I don't care who takes it. Somebody's going to take it. Because if not, I'm going to the media with it. And I'll make a media circus out of that. 150, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Ashamed of yourselves for allowing that to go on. And of course, President Shackin's going to look away and Call me crazy like he does every after every meeting. That's fine. I'm not here for your benefit. I'm not here for their benefit. I'm here for the benefit of the animals. Go ahead, turn around, look at Josh. I don't care what you look at. 157 cases. Chief, what are you going to do about it? <coughs> Excuse me. You've already had your three minutes. Thank you very much. No, just let me point out no, no, you've had your three minutes. Thank you. Colleen, if it's within the, the letter of the law, and it's okay. I don't know how many animals John DeCandle puts down. I don't. I have the open paperwork, would you like it? Sure, you can always, you know that I've never refused to discuss anything that you wanted to discuss. Uh, that's not exactly true, because well, I do have two emails from you where you told me never to contact you again when I contacted well, you two I don't know how long ago that was, two weeks ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. So. Okay. If you'd like to submit the open paperwork, I'd be happy to look at it figure out what can be done, assuming there's some violation of the law. So but I, as, as the president uh, pointed out in his opening remarks, we're not the animal shelter police. No, if, there's, the animal if there is a violation, then we Prevention of deal cruelty with it. to animals. An animal put down before the seven day hold, according to state law, is cruelty. Is it a surrendered animal? Still seven days. And, uh, and you know what, Chief? That scares me that you don't know that. Not a surrendered animal. Not a surrendered yes, animal. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. absolutely. Absolutely. Let's not know that. Absolutely. A surrendered animal has to be held for seven days. Please let Colleen call. A seven day, an animal, any animal that has gone into a shelter, whether it's surrendered or picked up, has to be held for seven days. And it's pathetic that you as the president and you as the chief don't know that. Okay, you're three minutes, you're up. Thank you of so course it is. Anybody else have any comments? And you won't do a damn thing like you haven't done with anything I'm else. A, I'm gonna absolutely, I'm gonna second that. I, I, that right. is Can you please identify yourself first? My name is Leah Strusich. 
the fact that you do not know the whole the, the law pertaining to the hold is first and foremost is unbelievable. <coughs> unbelievable. Seven day hold. You cannot euthanize an animal unless it's in grave condition. It has to be done by that has to be determined by a vet if it's before the seven day hold. <coughs> we don't Otherwise, know that it wasn't. What's it that? wasn't. I had to take seven day hold. They weren't. Frank, I have to pay for <clears throat> and I'd like to add that the Patterson Shelter also. I'd like to add that the Patterson Shelter also does not maintain the public hours that it's supposed to by law as well. So that's a Title IV violation. Well, they're not the Shelter Police. But they're the Title IV Police. Okay. And they're not the Shelter Police. Well, Title IV. I guess obviously you and I are going to have to go. That's okay. I don't mind going to Patterson. It wouldn't be the first time. Anybody else have any comments or questions? I do. My name is Steve. And um, have, is this been given adequate notice for this meeting? Have you guys done adequate notice? Yes. There's nothing posted outside here for adequate notice. <coughs> um, you sent a letter to the state, Secretary of State. Hello? You're using your three minutes, so say whatever. I'm asking you a question. I you're answering you everybody else's questions, but you're refusing to answer mine. Um, uh, the other thing I was going to say is um, your statement that you're reserving the right to, to stop us from cursing or to be respectful, you're a government agency. We have the right to say what we need to say, whether it's uh, a curse word, which has been found unconstitutional, the law has been found unconstitutional in New Jersey, so there's no such law as that. So I don't know who you're talking to. I, I'm assuming the, the non-president attorney that's not even here. Um, you're totally out of line. You have no you have no uh, rights. We the people do. You're a government agency. We're allowed to say whatever we want to say, including cursing. You can't even look at people in the eye. You're you're amazing, absolutely amazing. I never thought I'd wish Captain Yoko was back. Order, please. Order. Uh, so stupid. But I mean, unreal. I can't wait for them to handcuff everybody. I'm ho I hope I'm there. I'm going to post, put it all over the media. The <clears throat> What's that? I hope you're the first one in the house. It was very professional, Cindy. Yeah, yeah. I'm being cuffed for professional. what? Very professional. I'm being cuffed for what? Can we please have a little order here? Why didn't you stop her from, from talking out of line? What a moron. Steve, she'll be dealt with. Okay? I'll, I'll make sure of right. that. Okay. Please. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Larry would be the only one in the room that actually had I can talk all I want. No, I you cannot. Right You're not recognized. Please I don't stop care if interrupting you this me meeting. Or not. I don't care if you recognize Please me. Please stop not. interrupting this meeting. Stop being an ass. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is that what you're supposed to do, Frank? We have a second? I'll second. Okay. Meeting here by adjourn. Thank you very much. So, again, my time has been uh, disappeared, right? <clears throat> That's lovely. How about the five hundred thousand dollars that just disappeared? If everybody around the table can help with the table chairs back there, oh, where you are. Now, where they all go on the on the racks there. We have set it up right at the meeting. Hey, your, your dog that's in that picture that, that you had over there, is that a certified police dog? Is it, otherwise, the first thing police officer, you know that, right? You know that, right? Is your dog a certified police officer? Well, that was one of the years. Over a year? Over a year. If you can find that to you, I can imagine you with it. And what newspapers did you guys uh, give adequate notice to? What newspapers did you guys give adequate notice to? What newspapers did you guys give adequate notice to? Because you didn't do it. I did. So, so what newspapers? <laughs> There's there certain ones that have to be the bylaws. They're out there statewide. Statewide. And they've been down. 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 And
Secretary of State. Well, I contacted the Secretary of State. I have my state. I don't want to be included in all the emails. And remember, I have no problem. I have no problem with that. Thank <laughs> you.